Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome along to the Rags to Riches series on Farming Simulator 22. Yes. Um, what did we do last time? We did all the bailing, didn't we? Um, and all that sorting out. So, welcome to September, by the way. Yes, I've advanced the time. We are now on September. Um, it's a little bit dark this morning. I was going to push the time a bit more, but it didn't feel like it was getting any lighter. So, uh, so yeah, let's have a quick look at the time-saving stock check again and see if there's anything. There's nothing to do this month. Everything is bad. We're, we're, eggs is going to be the next thing to do. Oh, that's that's what I was thinking of doing, actually. Um, I, I realised uh, it would actually be good. Let's get this tra uh, tractor. Don't use this one as much anymore. We need to make... Um, oh, I need to turn my controller on. That would certainly help control things. Uh, right, are we good? Nope, still connecting. There we are. Yeah, I decided that uh, I am not going to keep the bales um, at the, the sheep pens. So I'm going to make my life a little bit easier is what I'm going to do. So we're going to hook that up. And having closed that menu, I now want to turn it on again. There we go, so that I can enable that. That should be fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've decided, although, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it, is it in bail mode? Container type T. Uh, no, yeah, I know. Can I disable that then? Disabled. Container type. What are you talking about? Oh, Alright. I wanted to stop it from taking all of the stuff from the left. I thought if I press T now, I could change it to bales only. Full only. Yeah, okay, well that's something. Auto bale mode enabled. Yeah, because I don't want you to pick up the, the other stuff. Can I? There we go. I think I've driven far enough away from those. Though actually, that stuff is now taking up. Oh, blimey, we've got a full trailer. Okay, then. So, yeah, I'm going to move all this stuff away because then I can auto load all of those things as well. I don't. Looking at the controls now, I'm, I'm wondering if I ever have been able to do that, whether I've just imagined that I can. It's uh, a bit. Yeah, interesting. I don't know. I might have just made that up. Right, let's pop you down here. So, what do I want to do? Uh, unload is left shift and I. Load side right is correct. Let's get it as far over as we can. There we go. Shift and I. Lovely. Auto bail mode is disabled. Okay, so it turns itself off. Control shift R. Yeah, I'm wondering now if it actually won't pick up um, those other things because they're not bales. Um, right, Control Shift R, turn that off again. And now we can back her up. There we go, beautiful. And we'll get ourselves in line over there. And now these things will be out of the way. And yeah, it, they, like I say, it might be irrelevant if um, shift an I. It might be irrelevant if we can't uh, actually pick up those other containers. Let's see what happens if we swing by. I think I've done it before, actually. It's going to be the eggs next, isn't it? So, if I press... What's the button to press? Uh, start loading is left shift and R. Okay, yeah, there we go. It'll take the the full things of eggs. All right, cool. So that's good. Um, I don't think the um, greenhouse is in danger of not spawning stuff. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think it's in danger of not spawning stuff because of the area being full. I think it can store a load of stuff before that becomes an issue. But I, I do need to keep an eye on it, really. Um, right, what am I doing now? I need to park this somewhere that's out of the way. That'll do. Nice. And then decide what uh, what is next to do. Oh, it's the um, it's time to drill, isn't it? On the field over there. So we'll jump out of that tractor. We'll hop into the fent, uh, and we are going to drill the barley, which we didn't drill last month because you're not allowed to drill it in that month. Oh, it still bugs me how slow this thing is to start. I don't know if that's something that you can like change in the XML or something, like the delay before it pulls away. Okay, we are apparently on grass, is that? Um, I think it's... Which one is it? Oh, this is the baler. What am I on about? I've picked up the baler. Flipping heck. I am a moron. Just in case you didn't already know this, right? Just to let you know, I am actually fully a moron. Um, actually, I'm going to want the weeder. I think the weeder is the red one, right? I think that's the the weeding hoe, as it were. Come on. <laughs> so if I park this in front of the yellow one, I think the yellow one is a cultivator. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, though. <laughs> but we'll pop that there, and hopefully that'll be all right. Man, I'm making a dog's breakfast of this, aren't I? Let's uh, oof, zoom in a bit so we can see. And then back a bit more. There we go. We should be on barley. If I get, Oh, I just tabbed. I didn't mean to do that. Nope. Oh, I've got to tab all the way through. There we go. Right. Uh, escape is what I meant to do. Uh, what is barley? Barley is brown with go faster stripes coming out the top. Yeah, we're on barley. Okay, cool. And we are also fertilizing, which is great. So let's go get this uh, sorted out. And uh, yeah, get some barley in the ground. I, uh, I've i been watching recently, uh, um, I've been watching Sips playing, uh, playing Farming Sim. Um, in December last year, he did like a massive... Um, well, he called it Rags to Riches as well, actually, I think. I think he might have done anyway. I don't think he called it Survival Challenge. Anyway, it, he streams like eight hours a day, and he just plays the game. And with my mental state being what it's been recently, um, I've, uh, I've found it extremely calming to watch, and it just makes me, my brain slow down. And Because he... I, I, in some respects, I don't think it's very entertaining to watch because it actually, it blows my mind that large swathes of the time, he's even not talking, he's just like playing the game, he's just like driving around and doing stuff. Um, he hasn't got a camera up at the moment, or at least he didn't when he was doing that. And he's like this massive streamer, and so many people watch him, and people are subscribing and donating all the time, just like throwing money at him, and he's not doing anything. And so, from one one perspective, I'm thinking, I'm, I, I can't. I find it amazing that like people will just do that. They'll just throw money at someone when they're not even doing very much. Um, if that like, but on the other hand, I also am enjoying watching it myself, and it's like getting me through this this kind of low spot in uh, in mood and everything, and anxiety. And so I, you know, I can understand that, you know, maybe a lot of other people are in a similar position and getting the same thing out of it, and that's probably worth paying for, if you've got the money. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but it's it's just bizarre. I feel like, um, I don't know, I guess there's a bit of jealousy there, really, because, like, I'm a very small creator, obviously, not very many um, subs and stuff compared to him. And, um, like, I put so much effort in, I try not to leave, like, long silences and stuff. Even when I'm streaming, I, I do my best not to do that. But um, but yeah, and it's I struggle to to gain ground, as it were. I'd grow as a as a streamer or as a, a content creator, and yet people like this are doing less than I'm doing, 
and uh, and you know that's that earns them their wage. <laughs> it's kind of uh, bizarre to me, but but hey, anyway, I don't do this to earn money. I, the the money would like I, it would be amazing if I did because due to aforesaid like depression and anxiety, I uh, I can't work very much at the moment. I'm finding it hard to. Yeah, I can't motiv motivate myself to go out and get work. So it's a bit tricky, but... Um, yeah, so it'd be wonderful if you two... Because this is something that I don't have a boss. Like, I'm my own boss. And um, I'm passionate about doing it. And it has the potential to earn money. Whether it will or not is, is another thing entirely. You know, there's an awful lot of luck involved in it, as well as the hard work and stuff but that's the thing actually like there's loads of tricks and tips that you can do like you know you, you can do like clickbait um, thumbnails and titles and stuff that I, I feel is very dishonest I don't really want to play that game at all but it does work it gets you attention it gets more people looking at your stuff and granted although a lot of the people who look at that stuff are not necessarily going to subscribe it does still bring people that do and anyway, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here. This is not about farming. Um, what I should be doing is doing a hyperlapse. So I'm going to shut up about all of this YouTube and um, Twitch and streaming nonsense. And uh, I'll think about that in my own time, not on your time. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's do a hyperlapse of uh, sowing. I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do all three fields because I think... Um, I think the chickens will eat the barley as well. So... Yeah, that's going to be a, a fantastic thing. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side of the hyperlapse. Okay, there we go. That's everything done. I just realised while I was doing that that I didn't actually get to the point of my story about sips. I went off on a tangent about um, streaming and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, while I was watching him, somebody in the chat um, said... Uh, by the way, I'm not watching him live. Uh, he puts all of his streams up on his YouTube channel after they're done, so I'm, I'm catching up on them, basically. They're, yeah, he did like... I don't know how long. I've got up to like the 12th of December and he started on the 5th, so loads and loads to watch. Anyway, um, he was re responding to somebody in his chat who um, who said that barley was the highest of yielding of the cereal crops. Um, so if that's true, then that is really good for us. Uh, incredibly good for us, in fact. Right, uh, come on, zoom in a bit so we can see where we're going with this. There we go, a bit more round. Lovely. That'll do nicely. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, if that's true, then that's great. Because um, the price in between all the cereal crops is pretty similar. Like, it's a bit lower on barley, I think. But if it 
actually does um, yield higher, then that is great. Um, because, yeah, we'll get a bit more money for it. Um, but yeah, unfortunately for cereal crops, like you don't, you don't make a lot of money from it. If you want to make money, then you, you either have to do it in very, very large volumes, like in the American and Australian maps, things like that, with a really big field. Some of the European ones do as well. Or you have to do production production chains. So you don't just harvest the uh, the grain. You then put it into a an industry building. Uh, which processes it to a further point, which then sells for an awful lot more. So we may look at doing that, um, but I think we're going to focus first on getting the uh, clothing industry up and running. So once we've sold enough uh, wool and silage and stuff to earn, to afford a spinnery, we'll probably buy a spinnery and put in this field. Um, although thinking about it, it's probably better to expand into that field first. And then that will easily pay for it. I think one cut of that grass made into silage in field 24 uh, is going to um, is going to pay for a spinnery. Basically, I think it's 60 grand. So yeah, that should be the way to do it. I think do it that way around. Um, but yeah, William in the last uh, episode he commented and he had a very good plan that we could actually buy four and seventy nine as well, which is another plot of land. It's actually cheaper than twenty four is to buy four and seventy nine because um, they're one plot. Um, but access, <coughs> excuse me, access is tricky there. Um, so yeah, we we need to put some thought into that. Uh, we can't buy though. Well, we could buy them first because they're cheaper, but like I say, access is tricky. I think there's a lane, 79 you can get to on that brown lane that goes through the farm. Let's look on the, the map so I can show you properly. Um, yes, yeah, so the access to field 79 is here on this road here that uh, comes out of that farm. So we'd have to go, we'd have to drive through the farm to get there, which is a bit of a pain, but it's not the end of the world. We could do that. Four, I still haven't found the access to. Oh, actually, it looks like it's on that corner, doesn't it? So four might be easier. If Actually, yeah, we could buy that first thing, because then it's just a case of going up that road in there, and we can make our own gateway between those two fields. We could even join those two fields together if we wanted. Um, so yeah, that's something worth thinking about. Excellent. Okay, well there you go. That's that's a possibility. That that's even cheaper. So it's twenty four. If we go into this, that plot is one hundred and eighty two thousand, one hundred and eighty three thousand nearly, and this one is only one hundred and thirty two thousand. So that's a lot more affordable. So I might do that first, and then we can buy this one to connect them up afterwards. Yeah, that could be a really good shout. I might have to put that gateway in. Um, that corner of uh, five though we it makes sense because we've got um yeah we've got a gap here so we could actually put a gateway in here as well and then that would kind of uh make this one a bit better we could even then close off the corner if we wanted to i don't know might leave it for now but anyway it's all options lots and lots of options in any case um that is now done. We have planted our barley in those fields. 35 barley as well, though. that's interesting. Um, and I believe they should be fully... Oh, they're not fully fertilised. Okay. Oh, I think I just wasted... I just wasted fertiliser. Because... I cut down the, um, yeah, I did. I wasted fertilizer because I cut down the um, oil seed um, cover crop, which would have um, fertilized it one stage, but I was also applying fertilizer in the drill. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't know quite what I yeah I'll have to try next year next year I'll do it without any and see what happens whether it's at the same stage because I expected that to be fully fertilized now because it had one from the 
cover crop and one from the fertilizer in the drill but because they went down on the same stage it only counted as one yet it still consumed it that's so annoying ah i should have thought about that i didn't think about it at all just did it never mind never mind we'll figure it out um so yes i don't know if there's anything else to do today we are in september we should probably pick up the um the stuff that's on the ground over there. Well, too. Let's let's use super strength and let's just move it out of the point so that more stuff can spawn. Uh, oh wait, hang on. Am I? No, I don't have um, lumberjack. I, I think I did that last time as well. Super strength is on. Okay, so we can now move this stuff to one side oops there we go looks like there isn't anything spawning anyway but it's nicer to just get this stuff out of the way there we go right tomatoes yeah there's, there's only half a pallet of lettuce and uh, a tenth no it's two tenths of a pallet of tomatoes there anyway so that's fine Okay, brilliant. Um, what do we want to do now then? I'm wondering about whether to just put this on one one output because tomatoes, I think, you get more of. Um, if we go to productions, yeah, so 670, sorry, 672 cycles a month and lettuce is 336 cycles a month. So it's approximately double. And then the price of them, uh, tomatoes, is 16.94, and lettuce is, so that would be 30, yeah, 32. So it's actually, yeah, pretty comparable anyway. So I think what I might do is stop generating the tomatoes after we've done actually there's only 177 litres in there isn't there can I <laughs> open the door there we go oh it just takes me to the same menu I could have done it while I was there I think I'm going to stop producing tomatoes and I'm just going to although hang on no because that would only mean I'm. It would still only be doing the same number of cycles a month, wouldn't it? So it's actually probably worth doing all three. Should we activate that as well? Yeah, let's do that. I wasn't thinking straight there. Regardless of what you do, like if you stop doing one, it doesn't stop doing the other cycles. So now it's just going to presumably consume more water, but it's also going to produce strawberries. So that's um, that's decent. Okay, I like that. Yeah, so you might as well have all of them enabled because you still get then you get all of those cycles a month, and you get more money for it. That makes sense, right? I am thinking about that, right? Aren't I? I often like get the wrong idea in my head and run with it, and like I have no actual clue what's happening, and I just assume that everything's fine until it's not anymore. Um, so yes, I think we are probably done for today. So let's move on to the next day, which I have to do by speeding up because, uh, yeah, we've got the mod installed. It doesn't allow us to sleep anymore. So we'll do it this way, but that's all good. Nice, I think I'd like to build a, um, there we go. I think I'd like to build something to offset our daily costs, um, which would be like a solar panel of some description. So let's let's have a quick look in here. Construction, um, productions, isn't it? Generators. There we go. There we are. So that gets six hundred and forty-eight a month uh, for seven. 
What is this? Uh, 984 a month for only a little bit more. I might buy one of these, actually. I think this would be a fun purchase. We can't really do much with the money we've got right now, so I'm going to I'm going to go for this, you know, just to off like I say, offset our um our costs. Overlaps with another object. Can I um toggle free mode? There we go. So I can put that there. And that won't be a problem. <laughs> I could even put it. Yeah, I could put it in the chicken coop. That's fun. Or it could go here by the road. Where should I put this? I quite like there, you know. It's very out of the way. And it kind of looks like it's then hooked up to the greenhouses, which is quite fun. Let's put it there. Beautiful. Okay. So we have now offset uh, our daily cost. We now earn money every month. Uh, at the cost of 11 grand so that's a year in a year that will have paid itself off so that's not bad that is not bad at all um right hmm what to do now then um grass is not ready for cutting yet it's going to be another month for that i like the red lights in here that's very atmospheric i guess they're heat lamps aren't they keep the baby lambs warm how are you guys doing for food you've got loads of food You've got loads of food. We're all good. We're all good. So that's the thing, is that by moving those bales out of the way, we do now need to check the uh, the food all the time. Um, but I'm look I'm liking this look. This is good. We got another one of these already. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay. Um, we still don't have anything to do this month, though. Uh, let's do... It was November, wasn't it? Time-saving stock check said there was something to do. Yeah, sell our eggs in November. So we need to remember to do that. Um, but yeah, I think we can afford to go for a whole other day. Because we've got no money to do anything. There's nothing to do on the farm. Uh, so let's do it. And we should go up in money. So we're at 12,978. So we should get break into the 13,000 um, when... Oh, that's the wrong button. Ooh, look at all those fields. It's impressive. Let's go for the square one. Cool. Right. Uh, Twenty. There we go. Um. Okay. One hundred and sixty pound property income. Why only one hundred and sixty? Oh, because we didn't do it for the full month. Right. Of course, partial month. Okay. That's all right. Come on, let's get to five, six, get to daylight. Lovely, there we go. Great demand at Bally Spring Inn, I'm sure there is. Okay, the grass is now ready to cut. Amazing. So we can do that, but um, I'm thinking we will do that in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, people. Please do leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Talk, tell me all your suggestions for the farm, what you think we should do. Um, I'm still thinking I'm going to build another hut here. I think it'd be nice to have like this corner effect going on. Um, and then we can store more tools. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts as well. And um, we'll probably do it after we've bought the next field because then, you know, I don't want to cut down the amount of grass we're getting at the moment. We kind of, I think we kind of need it all for the, I don't know, one load of bales for the, the sheep actually has lasted a very long time. It's going to last us a very long time. So maybe I don't need all that ground. But we've only got 12 grand anyway, so we'll wait until we've earned a little bit more. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.